Welcome back. How are you today? I hope you're well. I'm doing good. I'm ready for some fallout. Hey, hello there. I see you. All right, we're ready to go. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. While we're loading up, I just wanted to mention that, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys before or not, but um, January 15th is when the new model is supposed to be finished, and that's art only. Um, and once that's done, I'll start rigging her. I'll be rigging her myself, and of course, I'll give you updates and let you see what's going on. But yeah, really excited. So, let's start off by reading some of the information on here, and then I've decided to go after the T-51 power armor. You know me and power armor. I gotta have my power armor. All right. Military contract 38917, codename Liberty Prime. Project goal, no less than the creation of the most powerful combat robot the battlefield has ever seen, with the express goal of liberating occupied Anchorage, Alaska from its Chinese aggressors. Summary. The United States Army has succeeded in contracting both Robco and General Atomics International to work on their first joint project. The robot they create, Liberty Prime, will be the very embodiment of American military might. A walking, talking, nuke-tossing hero who will remind the world what it means to be a superpower. I'm fully confident that the presence of Liberty Prime at the Anchorage front line will be to the Chinese what the Hiroshima bomb was to the Japanese in 1945. General Constantine Chase. Capital Post article, June 3rd, 2072. By Walter Streetbeat Munro, Capitol Post staff writer, in a startling turnaround from their previous policy of complete covert development, the United States Army has confirmed that they are indeed working on a new superweapon, one designed specifically to crush the Red Chinese invasion force and liberate occupied Anchorage, Alaska, once and for all. Speaking at an Army press conference at the Pentagon, General Constantine Chase stated, No more secrets. The time has come to lay all our cards on the table, so the Chinese can see with their own eyes that we've got the winning hand. The United States Army is proud to announce that for the first time in history, General Atomics International and Robco have joined forces to create for this great country a super weapon that will leave every single yellow-bellied red shaking in their commie booties. Unfortunately, for our readers, that's as specific as Chase is willing to get. While he and the army are ready for China to know the U.S. is developing a new weapon, what they're not quite ready to divulge just what it is, or when it'll be ready for deployment. All in due time, all in due time. Rest assured, when this weapon is complete, liberty will come to Anchorage, and hell will follow. This is a letter from Dr. Bloomfield to General Chase. I'm sorry, but you're being completely unrealistic. There's simply no way the robot will be combat ready in three months. The chassis is complete, all weapon systems are online, and the voice module has been programmed as requested. But power consumption is still our primary concern, and neither Doctors Honeywell nor Park have yet found an acceptable solution. We had hoped to subcontract vault Tech and utilize the talents of Dr. Braun, but apparently he's gone into seclusion working on one of their own projects, and they couldn't reach him at this point even if they wanted to. So that's out. I'll give it to you straight, General. This is the biggest robot the world has ever seen, and we just haven't been able to find a power source small enough and powerful enough to get the damn thing running with all its systems online. In three months, we might be able to guarantee that the robot can walk into downtown Anchorage, but all of his weapon systems will be offline. Maybe he can just step on them? 
Dr. Stanley Bloomfield, project lead. Diagnostic reports. May 8th, 2277. Here are the results of the latest robot diagnostic. Mobility, zero. Navigation translation, zero. Internal processors, 46%. Weapon systems, 45%. Power management, 37%. Voice module, 100%. Scribe Rothschild is confident that by redistributing power from the weapons and mobility subsystems, we'll be able to bring power management up to at least 67%, enough to successfully carry out a full activation sequence. July 13, 2277. Scrob Rothschild has completed a new full diagnostic of the robot. Here are those results. It's been determined that the recent feedback spike, which resulted in overall system degradation, was in fact caused by the installation of the new power capacitor, as Scribe Rothschild suspected. Until further notice, scribes are ordered to cease any and all experiments that involve the rerouting of power from any of the robot's subsystems. Current it's the assessment of Scribe Rothschild that once the power management issues are solved, mobility and navigation translation will jump to at least 50%, well within acceptable operating capacity. Interesting. Well, we'll leave the rest of that for later. Right now, there's just a couple of things that I would like to... You honor us with your presence here. Thank you. There's a couple of people I'd like to find. Well, one in particular. I want to see if I have enough karma to get her yet. Mm-hmm. Looking for a brotherhood... Paladin type. to come with me Welcome. as a follower. Where is she? I don't remember where she is. Mm. Certainly not in there. It's interesting that some of the stuff is set to green, isn't it? Hmm. Not much in this room. Cutting board. Squirrel stew. Fancy lad snack cakes. All empty. Some snack cakes, sugar bombs, pram. Metro ticket and pre-war money. Hmm. Interesting. What's in the suitcase? A lot of old destroyed books. Not sure exactly why they're keeping them. I'm sure there's some reason. Huh. What about here? Something in the desk. Oh, some bottle caps. Mm -mm -mm. Cafeteria. Interesting. All right. And that's all that's down there. 
let's see where else we can go. Probably upstairs. It's mainly scribes downstairs. There she is. I salute you, warrior. You walk among us, but apart from us. How may I aid you? I'd like you to come with me. My offer stands. Do you wish me to accompany you in your journey? I would be honored, Star Paladin Cross. Then I shall follow your lead and submit to your command. As James's child, I know I don't need to explain, but I am not your servant. If I do not like the path your actions take, I will return here. Now, let us go forward. Crush the Enclave and fulfill your father's mission. Sounds good, Star Paladin Cross. All right. You're on point. I shall back. Mm. Forgot to sell that. Back you up. All right. So what's the way to How do we get out of here now? Think up here. All right. Let's go after that T fifty one power armor. Oh, other way. Oh, that goes down. I guess it might be down now. No, up. Oh, there we go. Ha ha. I found my way out. Hi. Let's go cross. We got this. Bum, 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 bum. Eventually, I'm going to find the door. Where is the dang door? Is it this one? No one's guarding it, which is odd. No, that's the lab. Ba, 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 ba. I don't think it's this one. No, Citadel A ring. This one. Welcome. Capital Wasteland. Uh, Paladin Cross, there we go. All right, let's do a save. Well, we have her. Don't have to go find her again. Quests. Hmm. All right. The Republic of Dave. That's way up in the top right. All right. They're all over the place. All right. Let's start at Rivet City then, shall we? Looks like one of them's there. Ba ba -dum ba. There we go. Hey, Cross. Marketplace is probably... Oh. It's locked. This is the muddy brother. Cause any trouble. Have you seen my husband, Polly? No. I'm Cindy. I mean, Cindy Cantelli. I have a quick fix. I mean, I, I run a quick fix. Anyway, you were saying...
I like you. You're funny. I assume you sell cams? Yeah, Polly and I. Our shop is in the market. Boy, that sounded dumb. Where else would our shop be? Anyway, thanks. For being nice, that is. So, your husband is an addict? He's hopeless. I have to keep him away from the shop, or I'll rob us blind. One of these days, he's going to end up dead. All right, goodbye. Yeah, see ya. All right. Is he in here? I... never mind. Who are you? Got any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. <laughs> I run the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chems. You shouldn't take that stuff. It'll kill you. That's what Cindy says too, but I got the itch. I need it bad. Why are you guys living on this boat? It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. I gotta run, Polly. Yeah, me too. Now who am I looking for here? Um, Ted Strayer, Dave? No, Dave is at the other place. Ted Strayer, Dukov, or Alistair? Good to see you. Mm. Wait, what was your name? Not you. Hello? That's Gary. Close the door in my face. You make it quick. I'm on a tight schedule. All right, bye. Bye. You're not the man I am looking for. This is not the droid you are nice looking day, for. Huh? Yeah, nice day, Seagrave. I'm looking. Is this relevant to the mission? Yes. Cindy. Who is this? Cammy Hargrave. Oh, come on. James Hargrave. May Wong. Why are you being such a you know what, Cross? Ted Strayer. Ted Strayer or Dukov has gotta be here. There he is, Ted Strayer. Hey Ted Strayer, you can chill with me if you want, dude. You seem pretty relaxed. No point in getting all worked up. I get three squares, I got a place to crash, and nothing's trying to eat me. Do you know a Mr. Crowley? Whoa, that's a blast from the past. My dad knew a dude named Crowley. I never met him, though. I think Dad said he died when they were checking out some old fort. Do you know what they were doing at the fort? Nah. He said that old man Tenpenny hired him and some other guys to go in there, but he never said why. My dad made enough caps off it to set him up good, though. What do you know about Tenpenny? Everybody knows he runs Tenpenny Tower, but I never met the dude. I swear. Can you think of any reason that he might want you dead? No shit. That dude wants me dead? If you give me something, well... Personal. If you give me something personal of yours as proof, I'll lie to Crowley. Whoa. Is this, like, worth caps? Because I got needs, man. Give me the key. I'd hate to see you bleed to death. Uh, sure, dude. I don't know what it's for anyway. Don't need to get all thug-like. 
Thank you. All right, now we can get out of here and head to the next place. Let's see. Um, gate bridge right there. Well, I hope they do something. All right. Next place we have to go. Is where? Straight to the left. We also have to go up here. Dukov's place. Yeah. Gotta go talk to Dukov. Let's do that. Hey! Flank him. Enclave. Enclave officer. What the? Now we've got a death claw? What? Oh, what a time to have to reload. And to be moving slow. No! Oh my god. For real. Did I forget to save after talking to that guy? Do I have to find him again? No, I've got Ted Strayer's key. Oh. Okay, I should probably make sure I'm healed up before we go. Um, heal up a bit. Two hundred and one. I'm only at ninety. I'm good. Mm. I have to eat a lot. Uh, I'm just putting it all away. Got all the way up to 281 now. Use some buff out. Figure out why I'm moving so slow. There we go. Let's do a save and then let's try that over again, shall we? Ah, that was crazy, man. Dukov's place. Yes, you are engaging targets. Try and take this death claw out. No, not cross. Although she is, you know, she's a little nasty. Oh. 
Let me shoot. It had one hit point left. Okay, I know how I'm gonna do this. All right, you wanna play Deathclaw? We gonna play now. Oh, we gonna play. Very well. All right. We gonna play. Very, very well. All right. Ducog's place, shall we? I'm gonna wait till that, uh... I've got your back. Oh, is he out there now? For Alpha yep. Let's take them all out. Good riddance. I agree. That ended that. I mean, you want to play? We gonna play. You know what I'm saying? Let's go loot their bodies. Take that, and that, and that, and that, and that. What you got? Deathclaw cage key. Energy cells. Plasma pistol, I'll take that. Ash pile's empty. Alright, now, we were gonna go see Dukov. Let's do that. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Dukov, where are you? Let's find you, shall we? That's one of the girls. Another one of the girls, where's he? bathroom ba -dum -bum -bum. oh wait that's not the door we wanted to go through all right let's go up he ain't in here Let's try over here, shall we? Watch it, will you? Oh, chill out, it's bottles on the floor. Hey, sexy, let's get wasted. I mean, hello, sweet chicks. What can old Dukov do for you? Never mind, you need a drink. Jerry, I'm thirsty over here. Hmm. Somebody said you might know a Mr. Crowley. Care to comment? He's fucking dead, that's what I can tell you. Feral ghoul ripped his nuts off and ate them for dinner. Ha. Huh. Crowley's alive and he paid me to kill you because you hate ghouls. What? Fuck me sideways. No, better yet, fuck him. I swear I'll jam a grenade so far up his ass. I got nothing against ghouls. Ha. Huh? I even had a ghoul party girl once to see what it was like. This is about the key, isn't it? The goddamn key. If you want it, I better see some fucking caps on the table, clown shoes. Hmm. Here's 200 caps. Give me something to prove I killed you. Now that's what I'm talking about. You don't even know what's going on, do you, clown shoes? <laughs> you just bought yourself a motherfucking key. Now take it and get the hell out of here. 
All right. Bye. You need to drink more. <laughs> All right. Let's go. We got the second key. Two more to get. Let's do a quick save. All right. Let's see. Data. There's one way over here. We're in Andale. Is that where it is? Yeah, it looks like near there. Very well. We need to go that way. Let's find out what's going on. The yes, there could be. There, <laughs> there could be hostiles everywhere, honey. There are hostiles everywhere. In every direction. Don't fool yourself for a minute. But there's also a lot of people out here need our help. And we're going to help them. Some of them might not be happy about the way the help comes. Some of them don't know well enough for their own good. We're still going to help them anyway. In one way or another. Too much evil in this world. Too many gangs. Too many people selfish looking out for only themselves. Too many people doing too much evil and too much stupid. Let's find an entrance into this place. Oh, and here we've got Ten Penny Tower. Look at this poor guy. Do we have any purified water? Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Can you help me? I need water. Purified water, please. Here, have this one. You, are you serious? I, I can't offer anything in exchange, you know. I, I can just have it. I can just have it? For free? I insist. It's the least I can do to help. Water. Oh, <laughs> precious water. Thank you. You're a saint. I hear a s angry ghoul. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. How many times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. Ha. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not human. That's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours. All of you. Oh, dear. I'm really not in the mood. I'm really not in the mood. So okay. leave me alone. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps. And I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. I don't think you're talking to the person you think you are. Oh. Thought you were that damn ghoul. Well then, 
back to business as usual. Damn. You were trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. Redder is an official visitor only. I'm here to see Tenpenny. <laughs> That's rich. What would a man like Tenpenny want to do with a waste rat like you? I have a lucrative offer for Tenpenny. Let me in, or you'll come to regret it. Just a minute. Let's not be hasty. If Tenpenny is interested in what you have to say, I suppose you should get your chance. Though he normally conducts all his business through Mr. Burr. If Tenpenny doesn't want to talk to you, then you best leave him alone. If you bother Mr. Tenpenny or any of his residents, I will be very glad to forcibly show you out. Do we understand each other? Good. I'm really not in the mood for this. Leave me alone. Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. Don't do anything stupid. But stupid is my specialty. Well then. Ten Penny resident. Federalist lounge. Security guard. Hello. Hello. My name is Tiffany Cheng. My miserable excuse for a husband is Comrade Irving Cheng. And you could tell him I said so. You put up with a lot from your husband, huh? Do you know he tried forming a committee to discuss the ghoul situation? A committee! He made himself chairman, of course. What we need is somebody to do something, not just talk about it. Don't suppose you know anything about ghouls, do you? I've dealt with enough ghouls to know I don't really ever want to see one again. At least the feral kind. But don't worry about those ghouls. I wish I could. I get nightmares from time to time. Do you know anything about them? They are living in the nearby tunnels. They scare me. Why doesn't somebody do something? It's only natural to be afraid of the unknown. Perhaps you're right. But I prefer to keep my nightmares a fantasy and not test my luck with the real thing. Thank you very much. I can understand that. What? What's it like living here? It's very clean and safe here. Well, mostly safe. They say those ghouls won't get in, but I don't know. All right, goodbye. Bye now. Welcome to the Federalist Lounge. I'm Shakes. Wet your whistle. I'd love a drink, friend. I see, sir. Very well. May I pour you a drink? Tell me about Mr. Tenpenny. He is the right lord and master of Tenpenny Tower. Or... At least that's what my files say. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Cheers. What's in here? Vigilance is advised. Welcome to new urban apparel. I carry the finest in pre-war clothes. Hurry up, let's get you out of those old rags and into something fabulous. <laughs> you really think you can improve my luck? With my fashion sense and your bottle caps, there is no limit to what we can do for your image. I can't wait to get started. Are you worried about the ghouls? They were told they can't live here, but those zombies are too stupid to understand. They live in their own filth, squatting in the nearby metro tunnel. Security keeps shooting them, but they keep coming back. 
Hmm. I might be able to solve this problem. Hmm. You're certainly welcome to try, aren't you? Talk to Chief Gustavo. What's it like living here? Only those deserving to live here can afford it. And let me tell you, those who do live in style. Hmm. I bet people are dying to live here. You're all lucky you can afford it. People are dying to get in here. Like those dirty ghouls. Or at least they should be dying. Security has got to get their act together. But luck has nothing to do with it. We deserve this. All of it. Not everyone is as smart, as pretty, or as wealthy as the cream of the crop. Don't blame me. Blame Mother Nature. Survival of the fittest. It's the game of life. We're the winners, and those ghouls, they are definitely losers. Hmm. Most, well, what do, you, what do you have against ghouls anyway? That's a good question. That's a silly question. What I have against ghouls is that they are ghouls. Tell me about Mr. Tenpenny. A very well-dressed gentleman when he bothers to get dressed. He hardly ever leaves his penthouse suite. All right, goodbye. Ta-ta. Tamper with that and we're going to have a problem. I don't even know what you're talking about, dude. If it's your safe, don't worry about it. I don't want to touch it anyway. Metro access and generator. Morning. Susan. Hmm, what have we here? A lost little girl? Do you have permission to be in here? If not, you should leave before it gets ugly. Hmm. I'm not lost. I'm not a little girl, and I'm not that bad. We could be friends. You've got a lot of nerve talking to me like that. But I can respect a woman who doesn't put up with crap. Think you're tough enough to take on a couple of ghouls? Well. Hmm. I'm no stranger to violence if that's what you're getting at. Now you're talking. I've met a couple tough broads like you before. You might be just what we need around here. Chief Gustavo and his pack of goons aren't doing their job. Those ghouls keep coming back. Somebody's bound to get hurt sooner or later. Hmm. Those ghouls sure do have people worked up around here, don't they? Are you going to do something about the problem or not? Yeah, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about that. Hmm. We might get to be friends after all. You're not so bad. What's it like living here? Beats living out there in the wasteland. Trust me. See, I'm not like these other puffed-up fogies. I earned my way into privilege. I worked to get here. All right, goodbye. Sure, see ya. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Who are you around here? I'm Margaret Primrose. I run the Cafe Beaumont. Stop by sometime. Hmm. Do the ghouls have used rest out too? Chief Gustavo assures us that he's increased the number of the security team and will kill any zombies on site. Hmm. Those ghouls got you scared too, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. What's it like living here? It's a great place to live. I've always dreamed of giving people fresh meals and a place to relax and enjoy a good conversation or two. Tenpenny gave me a place to do that. I'm greatly indebted to him for that. Mm, running a cafe can't be easy. Indeed. Everyone who lives here has worked hard to get here. That's why we can't just let those ghouls in. They demand the right to live here, but what have they done to prove themselves worthy? Hmm. Well, I think they've proven something just staying alive in that condition. I guess I never thought of it that way. It's probably really hard just living day to day like that. 
fact, now I feel a little ashamed. Tell me about Mr. Tenpenny. Every day it's the same thing. The man has no imagination with his meals. But it's his building, so every day I make that damned iguano bit sandwich, no salt, with a peeled pear on the side. Send it up to the penthouse. All right, goodbye. Have a good one. Oops. Hey there. Hello. Ah, hello. Welcome to Boutique La Chic. I'm Lydia Montenegro, proprietor. Here you'll find only the best, with a price tag you can boast about to your friends. Nice place you have here. Your taste in shopping venue is impeccable. How may I assist you? Are you afraid of the ghouls? If they got in here, They'd get their filth over everything. You can smell them a mile away. I hope they come back and get killed by security. Oh. Pretty sure I can take care of that. Really? Perhaps you can. We'd all be terribly grateful. Chief Gustavo will want to know you're willing to help. What's it like living here? Tenpenny is a classy place. Just look at me. Look at my shop. Can't find top shelf class like that anywhere else. Hmm. Good thing the tower was still structurally sound after the war. Indeed. Though Tenpenny has put a lot of work into restoring it. And he's hired security to keep us safe. But they seem to be having some trouble with a pack of ghouls living in the tunnels nearby. Don't suppose you've encountered many ghouls on your travels? Ghouls are all right. What? Have you lost your mind? Tell me about Mr. Tenpenny. He stays in his penthouse suite most of the time. So long as we pay the rent, he lets us live here. All right. Bye. Charming. I am. Thank you. I'm glad you noticed. Hello. All right. Hello. 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 Oh, is this just a room? It's just a room. Hey. How do I get to the penthouse? Ten penny sweets. Security guard. Where will we find him? Big enough place, jeez. Is that you? No, you're Michael Hawthorne. I'm Michael Hawthorne. Who are you? And more importantly, should I care? I'm nobody in particular, but I'm sure you'll soon come to like me. Oh, fine. We'll have to share a drink sometime. I'm always in the Federalist Lounge. There's certainly plenty to drink about. Take those ghouls, for example. Don't suppose you know anything about dealing with their kind, do you? Hmm. Look, I know enough about ghouls not to hate them. Oh, I see. Well, I've never met one, so I wouldn't know. I just always thought, I guess I really don't know what I thought. Hmm. What's it like living at Tenpenny Tower? Well, it's a great place to live, if you don't mind ghouls breathing down your neck. I don't suppose you know much about them. We haven't discussed this already? Apparently, there's a pack of zombies living in the tunnels. Gustavo says he has it under control. On the bright side, it's given me another reason to hit the drink. Hmm. Cheers. We shall simply have to ignore them until they bugger off. 
Bye. Cheers. Interesting bunch of people we've got here. Jeez. Someone could get lost here in this maze. Ace Green, we can take. Hello. And the way she flirts with all the men? The woman's got no sense of shame. No sense at all, if you ask me. Introductions are in order. I am Mrs. Edgar Wellington. You may refer to me as Madam or My Lady Wellington. Very nice to meet you. You're better mannered than your apparent breeding would indicate. It is nice to make your acquaintance. You didn't happen to catch a glimpse of any ghouls on your way in here, did you? Well, I'm not afraid of ghouls. That doesn't surprise me. You should talk to Gustavo. He might be able to use someone like you. Hmm. <laughs> Hear anything interesting about them? Again with the ghouls! It's all anyone will gossip about. I can't help thinking about them. Doing things to us. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> That's interesting. It's more than just interesting. It's positively horrible. What's it like living here? Things haven't been the same since those ghouls showed up. Has everyone on edge. All right, goodbye. You're a real charmer. I am. You have no idea. Something on your mind, dear? Miss Montenegro's quite full of herself, isn't she? Puffed up like the souffle she is. Edgar Wellington II. Have you met my wife, Millicent? Mm, Hold yeah. on. Who let you in here? Don't worry. I was let in at the front gate. <laughs> Very well. As long as security is aware of your presence. Can't be too careful these days. What with these ghouls and all. Gustavo says he has the situation well in order, but I wonder if he's really trying. Don't suppose you ran into any ghouls on your way in here? Hmm. I don't consider goals to be a problem, if that's what you're asking. Then you obviously don't know anything about ghouls. Do you know anything useful about them? There's a pack of zombies living nearby in some old tunnel. They asked to move in, naturally. They were told to go to hell. Gustavo's hired some additional goons. Seems to be working. Still makes one a bit fidgety having those loathsome creatures around. I wouldn't even want them as slaves. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye. Goodbye. Real winners. Hey. Charm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Ah, oh, I need to find this guy. Oh, where are you, Ten Penny? Tower Lobby. Tower Lobby. Good Lord. These people are driving me crazy. How do I get to... It's gotta be an elevator or something. Ah, hello. Ah, hello. Morning. Jeez. This better be important. How's that ghoul situation coming along? That damn Roy Phillips won't take no for an answer. Keep showing up, looking for a handout. Meanest kind aren't wanted. End of story. If I were a betting man, I'd place a stack of caps on him trying something violent soon. And that would make Tenpenny nervous. I don't like it when Tenpenny gets nervous. But I can't spare the manpower to go hunt down Roy Phillips and his band of misfits, or I'd gladly end this thing once and for all. Hmm. Have you ever tried 
talking to the ghouls? I mean, I bet you could work something out. Tenpenny doesn't care how big their pile of bottle caps is. He won't let ghouls live here. Those ghouls need to give up and go bother someone else. Hmm. No, but perhaps it might be. I'm going to find a non-violent solution to your ghoul problem. That's a laugh. Roy Phillips can't be reasoned with. Trust me. But go ahead and try to talk some sense into him. It's your funeral. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. They've barred the main entrance. Go through the train yard. Good luck, kid. You're gonna need it. Hmm. Tell me about Mr. Tenpenny. He owns this building. We get our caps from him. And don't you forget it. Hmm. Bye. Watch yourself. Yeah, I will. I will do that. Am I in the right place now? Empty suite requires key. Jeez. It ain't in here. Ain't in here. Ain't in here. Where is this man? What the heck? Is he hiding? Oh. Mr. Tenpenny isn't taking callers. I'm here to see Tenpenny, but if you weren't so incompetent, you'd know that. Hold on there a minute. Oh, all right, I'll let you in, but if Tenpenny hollers because he isn't expecting you, you're dead. Thank you. How did you get past the guard? What do you want? Do you remember a Mr. Crowley? The ghoul? He's dead. Died 20 years ago. Good riddance, too. I hate those shufflers. Hmm. How did he die? Who cares? I hired some mercenaries to get me some equipment from Fort Constantine. He was one of them. Of the five, only three survived. You'll have to ask one of them if you want the gory details. Hmm. Well, he's alive. And I'm supposed to kill you because you hate ghouls. He's alive? I should have known. It's hard to kill those zombies. You've got to shoot him in the head. Whatever he's paying you, I'll double it. 200 caps to spare your life? Okay. I love mercenaries. They're so easy to buy. You'll be paid after I know he's dead. And believe me, I'll know. I haven't heard anything about Mr. Crowley recently, so what could you possibly want? Well, tell me about yourself. Oh, it's impolite for a gentleman to talk about himself, but I'd hope this magnificent tower would speak volumes. Mr. Crowley wants the key. What key? Oh, that key. 
You're a moron. I don't have any of his precious keys. Idiot! Hmm. Quite a tower you have here. Some might say that Tenpenny Tower is my crowning achievement. But no, no, my dear girl, it is just the beginning. Hmm. Bye. Cheerio. Interesting. Ted Strayer's key and Dukov's key. I already have those two. So yeah, it says, so it's Dave I gotta find. Dave's the one left. Oh, Dave. Wait, how did we get out of here? Oh, Dave. Can I help you? Uh, no, I just want to go out of here. I don't really like you guys. <laughs> oh, I can't just leave that way. Yes. I'm not here for your entertainment. Yeah, I know, but like I would like to leave now, please. What the heck? Um How do I get out of here? Hey. Hey, I want to leave. All right, let's do a save right here. All right. Dave. Dave is somewhere up here. Let's see. I have to go in the tepid sewers. How interesting. Museum of History. Georgetown South. Why is it showing me all of these places? Oh, about Mr. Crowley. That's why it's showing me that. Georgetown West. So there, then there, then there, then there. Where is... Where is Dave's place? Somewhere... So... Uh, I think it's up here somewhere. All right. Let's go to Megaton first so that we can see a bit better on the up part, the upper part of that map. Hmm. Way up there. Big town is a bit closer. Maybe we can see a bit more. See how close we can get. Alright, well, we have to go past the minefield, which we need to do anyway. So let's go to the train yard. Huh. Got some raiders going on here. Why is he in his underwear? Anyone else want to play? Frag grenade. It's 
some 32 caliber rounds. All right. Now, which way was I wanting to go? That way. Let's do a save. Did I loot this guy yet? I don't think so. Maybe. No, I did not. Let's do a save. Go through the train yard. Let's see what we can see. Hmm. Got a break in the fence all over here. That should let us get to where we need to go. Hmm. We got something off to the left. Over here. Look out. Engage it. All right. Nice eyes. Good riddance. Good job. Frag grenades. These raiders sure do like those, don't they? Alright, here's the road. I saw something over there. Yeah. Something right up there. Two of them could be scorpions. Yeah, scorpions. Targeting. There we go. Well, good. Grab their glands. Hmm. All right, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Hmm. All right. Hmm. What will we find? What's up here? Only... Only the devs know. And the people who've already played Fallout 3. And everybody else. Um, what? 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 Vigilance is advised. Oh, I agree. Vigilance is always advised. I mean, come on. Be honest. There's a lot of stuff out here, man. And most of it ain't good. Hmm. Ba 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 ba. Hmm. 
Interesting. Looks like we're going a little off the beaten path. What will we find? What will we see? You just never know. We've come so far. Ah. Oh. What do I see here? I see I see houses. I see intact homes. Now that's not something you always see. I mean, you do find it. It's not like it's like unheard of, but you know. Look, there's a bunch of houses that are all torn apart and then you got like that one house. Ah. Uh, oh, I'm crippled, that's right. I forgot I was crippled. Well, crap. There we go. We'll get uncrippled. That would probably help. Gotta hate them frag grenades. Ba -da -ba -bum. wonder if there's anyone living there. Oh, I've discovered minefield. Oh, crap. Yeah, let's be careful. Let's do that thing where we be careful because we don't want to deal with minefields. Well, with mines. Don't want to step on them anyway. Door to the Gibson house. Interesting. Oh my god. Well, that's a raider. Used to be a raider anyway. It's a toy car. Model of a home. Need a hundred lock pick. Don't have it yet. Let's watch for traps here, Cross. Just in case. Tumblers today. I can use that. Increase lock pick by one. I like that. Empty filing cabinets. Nothing in here. And what about this way? Pre-war books. Kitchen. <laughs> Watching everywhere. Dandy boy apples. Ah, food! Food is always welcome. Let's try upstairs, shall we? Let's keep looking for traps, just in case. Like, I just don't trap. I don't trust it. Lunch box under the bed. Toy cars, medical brace, crutch. Hmm. Nothing in there. What is this? Vacuum cleaner. 
It's a queen sized bed with two skeletons on it. Looks like they died together. I agree. Caution is advised. In a place called Minefield. Medex. We can use that. That's worth picking up. Let's do a quick save while we're up here. Pre-war relaxed wear. Hmm. Anything in here? Pre-war book. Nothing. Oh, there's a safe back here. There we go. 10 millimeter rounds and a pistol, bottle caps, pre-war money, and a stealth boy. I'm gonna have to do something about the amount of weight I'm holding. See if I can repair one of these with the other. I can. That helps. All right. That's it for up here. Let's head back out, but let's be careful. How about that? Being that we are in the minefield. All right. Oh, and there's one right there. Got it. Metro ticket. What just happened? Holy crap. There's radiation here. Question is... Okay, someone's shooting at us. Question is just from where? Where's the next mine? Where are you shooting from? Do you see them? Maybe from that house in front of the car? Just not seeing anyone yet. But I know there is somebody. I just don't know where they are. Hmm. Watch out for mines here, girl. Why are things randomly blow? Things are not just randomly blowing up. What the heck? What is going on here? Be vigilant. Oh, I will. Empty. 
Benson house. I don't have a high enough lock pick for this one. Let's get that one. Jeez. I'm getting real, real upset here at these people. They just ticking me off. Oh, good. Arkansas. Got you. No kidding, caution. There's probably more around if we got a named guy up there. Huh. Watch for mines, girl. Just in case. Get up there. Oh, shit. Missed that one. I'm out of the frickin'. Yeah, whatever. Need a squirrel on a stick. Are you kidding? Is there another one nearby? Did you just step on one? Where are you? Okay, do not wander off setting crap off. There's the body. Got the gate key. Right. Dang it. I wanted to disarm it, but I got too close. See if he's got any stim packs stashed up here or anything. Salisbury steak. Salisbury steak, Salisbury steak, Nuka Colas. All useful. Cherry bombs. Medical brace. How do I even use a medical brace? I don't even know. Like, I assume I would use it, but I don't really know how I would use it. Um, where does it even show up? Not there. Where does the medical brace show up? Uh, oh, there it is. OK, 
can't really just use it, so... That would be some kind of recipe or something I could use, or maybe not. Maybe it's just a, a random thing that you can get and sell. Who knows? Any more kind of a stash up here? Now I'm moving slow because I need a stim pack or something. Oh. Uh, it's no bed to rest on. Oh, wait, there is a mattress. Okay. I'm so silly. I can just rest there. No, I can stop walking so slow. Come on, Cross. We need to rest. All right. Now, we shouldn't be all screwed up. All right, we're good. Let's check the upstairs. Why am I walking so slow still? Oh, I hate it when this happens. Like, what breath? What button did I push to do this to myself? Okay, doesn't seem to be anything up here. There has got to be a reason. I'm moving so ridiculous slow. Your father would be proud of you. Uh, maybe, but uh, I need to stop uh surgical tubing. I need to stop walking this slow. Alright, what did I do? It's not that. It's not that. Not that. Pressing all the buttons here. I'm like, dang. Let me move. Am I over? Maybe I'm over. I am. I'm over encumbered. Oh my god, I'm such a noob sometimes. Alright. Let's try and fix that. Alright, that'll deal with that. Huh. Here I am pressing buttons every five seconds trying to figure out why I'm crawling. All right, there we go. We fixed it. Let's save it with it fixed. Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? That's what I say. Oh, sh they really want to. I thought we got all the mines from right here. Dang it. Oh my god. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Alright. Oh my god, I hate this place. Okay. Let's just, let's be careful. Okay, which way are we wanting to go? Not that way. Okay, that way. So... Oh, there's a mine. Right there. And right there. They got a lot of them. Jeez. Oh, girl, be careful of mines, please. I'm just saying. Because they've got them behind every frickin' rock. Let's get 
that one. Alright. We want to go that way. We've already completed getting the one mine she wanted. Then we can come back and loot this place another time. Watch out for mines. Jeez. Can we get in here? Yes, we can. Watch for traps. Just in case. Hmm. There's a skeleton. Empty desk. What's that? Oh. Why won't it let me select it? There we go, 32 caliber rounds. Ten millimeter rounds. I've been I'm over encumbered. Again. Mm. Let's see. That one has the least of value. So we'll drop that one. You've been here before. When, girl? When were you here? Alright. Check the kitchen. Dinner plates. Bunch of plates and stuff. Fishing battery. Hmm. Mm, pans. Make no mistake. Your father would be proud of what you've done. Good. Darts. A Braxo cleaner. All right, let's check upstairs. Start at the end, work our way forward. How about that? Another skeleton looks like these people probably had nowhere to go when the war was going. No, in a bathtub. There's the bathroom. Kids room. Pugilism illustrated. Interesting. Unarmed. Dart. More darts. Toy box. Hmm. Oh. Very sad. Alright, let's get out of here, shall we? Alright, well, let's see another one. Now, it's all blocked off here. So we have to find a way around through this freaking minefield. How awesome is that? All right. Uh, there has to be a way out. Looks like it's blocked off there to the right. Hmm. Oh. Got that one. It's 
all blocked off there. Might be able to get through right... Oh, shoot. Dang. So much mines. No, we can't get out there. I remember this area. But why do you remember this area? That is the question. I have to find a way out of this frickin' town. Maybe up there? Go up there, we could get around, I bet. Mm. Right there. There's one right there. Jeez. One there. There's a broken gate. We can get through here, go up there, and then go around. Just watch for mines. Oh, can we not go up here? Oh, yeah, no, I got it. Oh, shoot! Got away from it. Got that one. Where's my follower? Where is she? Don't tell me she went another way. Hmm. Now where was the, I just saw mine. There it is. Oh, got it just in time too, cause she came running across there. Oh shoot. Come back here, cross, cross. Thank you. I've been here before. Yeah, you keep saying that, but you're not telling me how or why. Wow. How annoying is it that there's mines up the frickin' mountain? What's that? Is that a mine? No, it's just a rock. Are we out of the frickin' mines yet? Jeez. Who are you? You're a traitor. What are you? You're a Yao Guai. That's his Yaga Yao Guai. Scavenger. Let me take a look. Repair skill at twelve. do. Anything for sale? A few odds and ends. Mm. Mm. Well, 
else? What do you got? Stim pack, I'll take that. I will definitely take that. There you go. Take that. Mm. Take that. I don't need that. I don't even know where I picked it up or when. Alright, that'll do. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Alright, bye. Later. That poor Yogwai does not look very good. Caution is advised. <clears throat> yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Let's see if we can get there by going around here. Bum, 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 bum. We've got company. Yes, we do. <laughs> That'll deal with that. All right. Well, at least there's no more mines right here. I can be grateful for that. I can take a few steps without a mine. What is this? We've found some kind of a building. MDPL 13 power station. Hmm. Big building there. Little building here. Oh. Yeah, we've got giant rad scorpion. scorpion poison glands hey do you want a better weapon or something because you keep just hitting things like I'm just wondering um vigilance is necessary in this location be on your guard my friend I will but can we talk I am open to your suggestions oh good um, a member of the brotherhood is trained in all weapons as an initiate what do you wish um, I want you to use ranged Very weapons. Well. I shall cover your approach. Thank you. I shall remain vigilant. Oh, good. Do you have a ranged weapon? Guess we'll find out. Because if you don't, you know, you're going to have a, a problem with you doing that. But I'll, I can give you a gun if need be. Braxo cleaner and Insta mash. First aid box. Bobby pin rat away. Two stim packs. I like he. I like he. Scrap metal. A Braxo. Turpentine. Hmm. Nicola Quantum bottle cap mine workbench can't make anything but a shish kebab which I, I really don't want empty tool cabinet Nicola in a desk I don't have a high enough science skill yet for that uh 
There's a safe. I don't have a high enough lock pick for it. <laughs> uh, there's so many places I have to come back to. Like, why? Why? All right, well, at least I got some stim packs. Let's head over here, shall we? What's up with the large building? Let's check the garbage first. Empty. Wonder glue. All right. Derelict power plant. All right, let's take some rat away. I hear ghouls. Or rat axe and a rat away. What are my rats at? 165. Take another rat away and another rat axe. And let's go see about these ghouls. I can't get in there, but that tells me there's going to be turrets. Empty desk. Empty tool cabinet. Dual roamer. Wonder why you remember this area. Brotherhood was in here for some reason, I guess. All right. Here they come. Let them come up. You need to go out now. I can tell. Dang it, stay still. We can take them, just chill out. You pretty. We got them all. Chill out. Medex. Pack of cigarettes and a wrench. A bottle cap. Fork and a pack of cigarettes. Three Nuka Cola. Bobby pin and a metro ticket. Very well. Sure was a lot of ghouls in here. Huh. in there, just a nozzle. Let's try up the stairs. Mm. So far, so good. Can we use this? For anything? No. Let's go over this way then to get away from the radiation. Is 
if we can get away from it up here empty fisto all right not sure what it is but hey empty safe So close. Oh, very close. Got it. 32 caliber rounds, 32 pistol, bottle caps, and pre-war money. Empty, empty. All right, let's get out of here. Too much radiation. No Your father would be proud of what you've done. Oh, good. All right. Let's get out of here, shall we? back on track to what we were doing water fountain empty tool cabinet okay what's this personal footlocker Bottle caps and some scotch. Empty, empty, empty. Empty, empty. Empty. First aid, purified water, and a stim pack. Nice. And nothing else. Immediate da danger. Talon Company Mercs. Okay, get out of the way, girl. You've got a gun. What are you doing? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Crap. Mm. That's making me mad. go Talon company needs to stop this nonsense ooh yeah yeah I know the private contract yeah 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 okay let's fix that Fisto. It's a power fist. Special power fist. Cool. Mm -hmm. well, that's all I got there. And I can't... You can't fix uh, Brotherhood armor with Enclave armor because they're different. All right. Bam, 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 bam. Fix myself up a bit. Mm. That should be good enough for now. All right.
righty. Which way I want to go? Oh, wait. Map. Alright. Let's go around this way. Bum bum bum. Got a bunch of good stuff from there. Base for sure. I think I need to get down more. I'm up too high. Hmm. Yep. We're off-roading it. We're looking for a man named Dave. Don't know what kind of a man he is, but his name is Dave. And, uh... Oh, we got something over this hill. Yeah, something. I've got contact. It's a Mr. Gutsy. I just got a level. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. That leaves me with nine more to put into something. Let's bring that up to 80 and 79. What else out here? Rad resistance, an additional 25% to radiation. That would be pretty good. Hmm. Strong back, 50 more pounds of equipment. That would be useful. 20% health bonus using stim packs, that's useful. Mm. Well, let's put it there though. Give us bonuses to barter and speech skills. Or we could put it there. Explosives, lockpick, and energy weapons. And determines Red's mark. Yeah, let's use it there for now. Because that's useful. That's very useful to us. Ow. Sorry about that. My goodness. All right, we want to go this way. Mr. Gutsy has energy cells and flamer fuel. That's helpful. Go around these rocks here. And what will we find? What is out there? What is going on? What is happening? Oh no!
Uh, there's some more rocks. What did you find? Well, sir, there were rocks and more rocks. There were green puddles ago. There were some robots. There's a red thing. Watch out, something may jump at us at any moment. Not that, you know, that would be anything new. I'm just saying. Let's check this out while we're here. Look, there's these little... Are they crates? Greener pastures disposal site. Oh, joy. All right. <clears throat> well... Rad resist is at 85. All right. Sure, let's check it out fast. See if there's anything in here. Let's just be quick about it. Given there's radiation everywhere. Nothing there. Okay. I don't even know what it was. I don't really see much. There's a little house. We can quickly check that out. Holy radiation, Batman. What's going on in here? Oh, nice find, Nuka-Cola Quantum. First aid box with 30 water and two stim packs. Some turpentine, a Braxo Cleaner Instamash. All right. Some wrenches and some scrap metal. That's an empty box, that's an empty box, that's a Braxo cleaner. There's a safe here. 10 millimeter pistol, 10 mm rounds, 55 bottle caps, and some pre-war money. Alright, there's bugs over there. Let's try and get in here and see what we can do. Um, Samantha, no, only one of them is correct. Huh. Could be supplies. Suffered. Three out of eight, correct. Hmm. That has one, two, three, got it, Su supplies. Disengage lock. Well, I just unlocked something. Ooh, a bobblehead agility. Nice. I'd be liking that. All right. Sensor module. Ham radio. Let's take care of these rad roaches. They're driving me a little buggy. Get it? They're driving me buggy. Get back here, you. Where are you? Oh, never mind. Footlocker. Whiskey. Empty lockers. This one's not empty. It's got some darts. Camera. Empty. Empty. Help empty. Look out. Help you? It's a freaking rad roach, girl. Just shoot it. Like, dude. 
Why are you going to be running your mouth if you're going to be yelling, help me over a rad roach? What's wrong with you? Helping the people of the wasteland is of the utmost reliance on them. I would agree that. Scrap metal. Alright, let's get out of here. Before we turn into ghouls. Alright, broken fence here we can go through. Get away from there. Is this open? Let's check our rads. Okay. Wasteland recluse, dirty water psycho, rad axe, a radiation suit. Alright. I'm seeing what you're doing there. Items. Apparel. Can I use that one to repair mine? No. Because mine is a different kind. Can I consolidate anything else? Well, I can... can use some of this to get my health up. Alright. Actually, sleep navel cot. <laughs> kind of creepy with the dead guy on it, but alright. 32 pistol. Scotch and wine. Hmm. 32 caliber round. Ah, a journal of internal medicine. Some rad X. Increase my medicine. Mm -mm -mm. Large scorched book. What's all this? Ooh, rad away. That's a nice find. Just a plunger in there. Stim packs in the pail. Yeah, this was worth finding, but now I've got a little bit of a problem. There we go. Now I'm not over encumbered. All right. Let's get out of here. Mmm, I'm going the right way. No. No, I'm not going the right way. No, I'm not. Because I want to be going up that way. Alrighty then. Yes. Bloat flies. I don't think they can understand you. All right. Take the poison gland. Oh. Shouldn't have done that. Mm. Yeah, I've got rather a lot of them. Float fly meat. Yuck. Oh, I'm at full. I don't even need it. All right. Okay, we're trying to go this way. 
right right what is that place that's like looks like it's on the way vault 92 I don't know what's in there we can look later your father would be proud of you oh good But I still got to avenge him, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying here? Alright. Another frickin' scorpion. I, I know. I'm, hit. I'm reloading. Hit. Hang on. One more for the brotherhood. It's a scorpion. Giant scorpion even. Continuing this way, we should. We should come to it. We really appear to have quite a way to go. Not gonna lie here. We will. We will get closer to it. We'll get there. We will find Dave. Whoever you are, Dave, we're going to find you. Oh no, we're not back in Mine Town, are we? Are we going back through Mine Town? I will be so peeved. No. Okay. Or is it another Mine Town? Is there multiple Mine Towns? I just want to know. Uh, mines, mines. Nothing I'm noticing right away. Hmm. What are we coming up against? I know there's gonna be something. All right, what's going on with these buildings? There's something up there. don't know what yet oh yeah there's something in there got one here engaging oh crap We're death out. claw For elder oh holy crap there was another one behind us jeez I wanted to pick up my... I didn't get it in time. When was my last save? Where are we? Where are we? Tell me I already got all this stuff, right? Yeah? I did, right? This is the one, yeah, with the guy on the bed. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, 
ba 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 get out of here. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, shoot. Yagwai. I'll take care of you. Mm -mm -mm. A map fall. Drop that. Let's do a save. Let's uh, see what we can see. Wow. Bum ba dum ba. Okay. Dave, Dave, where are you? Where are you, Dave? What are you shooting at? Scorpions. Now, how did you manage to attract them when I didn't? Scorpions. I mean, I don't want to ruin your celebration or anything, but. I don't see nothing in here. Alright, we need to go up this way. On clay by bot crap. Frickin' hate those things. Enclave is back. Not just on your radio. We'll get them. Yeah, we will. Tired of Enclave. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Alright. We've got a truck. What's this? Someone that isn't attacking us? Who are you? It's a wasteland doctor? What do you need? Ah. Uh. I don't see anything wrong with you. Oh, uh, wrong one. I thought you had the luck about you. Sure, I can help you. But it's not free. Fifty caps. Take it or leave it. Yeah, cure me. Okay, hold still. I don't want to make this any more painful than it already is. Thank you. Bye. Feel better? You should. That was the good stuff. Need anything else? No, thank you. I'm okay. Bye. Bye. That was a very creepy way to say goodbye. Empty soda bottles. 
There's a new Coca-Cola. Why can't I get up into the truck? That makes no sense. Maybe because I'm... Is it because I... Oh, I guess you can't climb up when you're over encumbered. Alright, there's a quantum, a regular cola, a regular cola. Yeah, I'm gonna have to drop something. Mm. Drop those. Another Nuka Cola. Another Nuka Cola. And another Quantum. And another Nuka Cola. And another Nuka Cola. I'm gonna have to drop something else. Holy crap, I found the mother load of Nuka Colas. Um. Who do I want to get rid of? Well, I don't really need that. Miscellaneous. I can get rid of those. Alright. Quantum. 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 Caution is advised. Yeah, I would agree with that. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna disagree. It's another new Coca-Cola. And three more. Holy crap, I can't even carry how many are here. Okay, well, we can always come back. It's a lot of Nuka Cola, man. Alright. We are wanting to go this way. Oh, guns and bullets. It's a magazine. Bar, 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 bar. Increases small guns. I see a Yagwai in a farmstead. Possibly two of them. Who just did that? Something over there. I don't want to get too close to the cars, though. Because someone's blowing stuff up. Raiders? That's a Brahmin. That's you. Okay, you're shooting at the tower. I see. All right. Gonna need to get closer. Did it run inside? Where are they, girl? Ah. Jeez. Huh. See if he's got a stash in here. Oh, there's more of them. Right there. Get away from anything that'll blow up.
Gotcha. Told you. Alrighty then. 5.56 millimeter rounds and shotgun shells. 32 caliber rounds, 9 bottle caps. And some ramen. Ah, oh, frickin' raiders. Disgusting. Leaf blower, lawnmower, motorcycle tank. Let's head up the stairs. See what we can find. Oh dear. Yeah, that's problematic. Jeez. Vigilance is necessary in this location. That's not what I meant to Be do. On your guard, my friend. I am. Okay. Bye. Lead the way. Okay. All right. Here we go. Well, took out the raiders at least. Freaking raiders. You are safe, Brahmin. Go free. Be careful. It's dangerous out there. Grain silo. Leather belt. Paint gun. Pugilism illustrated. Increase unarmed. Cool. And we continue on. Let's see. We're getting close. We're getting close. Bum, bum, bum. Dave lives a very long way away. Oh, look. It's a herd. Our, the Brahmin we just saved can go join them. They can be a herd of Brahmins. Just, just a herd of wild cows. Mm hmm. And they can, they can run and play and be happy. Oh, something. Commencing attack. What is it though? Where? We can't attack it if until we can see it. Ah, Protectron. It's a damaged Protectron. Hmm. Just wandering the wastes, are ya? Energy cells. Hmm. We should be getting close now. Or at least in the general area. My goodness. I agree. But I'm trying to find this guy named Dave. You see, he's got this uh, key. And, and you know, I was sent to kill them all. And I figured there must be something real good. Like T-51 power armor that I've heard of. And I might not know much about what's going on. But I do know. Then I want that key. Is this Dave's house?
Is that a gate over there? Hi, cows. Republic of Dave. Dave's house? Hey, who are you? What do you want from the Republic of Dave? Uh, I'm not here to hurt anyone. What is this place? This is the Republic of Dave, duh. It's named for President Daddy. But you have to talk to him if you want to stay here. President Daddy. Sounds a little inappropriate, kid. All right. Um, I think I'd like to meet Dave. Okay, I'll take you. But President Daddy doesn't always like new people. Okay, this way. All righty then. This sounds interesting. Your father would be proud of you. It's a very small republic. Not that I'm judging or anything, kid. Mm -hmm. Let's follow the child. And go meet this Dave. Dave, Dave, who are you? Why, he's Dave, of course. Oh, over here. Ah. Oh. Is that Dave? Hello. Bye. You're almost as big as Dave. I am Dave, President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President, or I will have you executed. Now, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? Interesting. Most exalted President Dave, I am an ambassador from the Wasteland. That's just what I would expect to hear from another spy from the Wasteland. You have one hour to leave the Republic of Dave or be executed. Oh, look at this. The spy has returned to gather intelligence. You'll get nothing from me, spy. What do you want? Hmm. What if I just make a donation to the Republic and you let me stay? A donation, huh? Well, it just so happens that the Republic of Dave does grant special asylum to its supporters in times of crisis. A one-time refugee tax of 250 caps should be enough to handle the administration costs of letting you stay. Or you could always find the president a new hunting rifle. I lost the last one when I was out stalking Meyer lurks. Hmm. I'll pay your refugee tax. Yes, this will do nicely. Congratulations. You are now an official refugee of the Republic of Dave. Mr. President, do you know a ghoul named Mr. Crowley? There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Before the people elected me president, I worked with a mercenary named Mr. Crowley. We were part of an expedition to Fort Constantine. Hmm. Crowley is alive, Mr. President. I'm supposed to bring back proof of your death? Mr. Crowley was a mercenary I worked with a long time ago. Wait. You're seeking to discredit me before the next election. Your status is revoked. You have one hour to leave the Republic or I will have you executed. Uh, what happened in the fort, Mr. President? That's just what I would expect to hear from another spy from the Wasteland. You have one hour to leave the Republic of Dave or be executed. You're a very difficult man, aren't you? Oh, look at this. The spy has returned to gather intelligence. You'll get nothing from me, spy. What do you want? You're very annoying. What if I just make a donation? A donation, huh? Well, it just so happens that the Republic of Dave does grant special asylum to its supporters in times of crisis. A one-time refugee tax of 250 caps should be enough to handle the administration costs of letting you stay. Or you could always find the president a new hunting rifle. 
I lost the last one when I was out stalking Meyerlurks. I see. There you go, another yes. 250. This will do nicely. Jeez. Congratulations. You are now an official refugee of the Republic of Dave. You're ticking me off. There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Before the people elected me president, I worked with a mercenary named Mr. Crowley. We were part of an expedition to Fort Constantine. Hmm. He is alive, and he sent me to kill you because you hate ghouls. Me? Hate ghouls? Preposterous. Wait. You said you're here to kill me? I'm going to have to rescind your diplomatic immunity. Then I'm going to execute you. Wait. I've changed my mind. You have one hour to leave the Republic. Then I'll execute you. Dear goodness, just give me the key. Anything There's happening an here? For the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? I really wouldn't know. I just got here. Ah, a seeker of knowledge then. Well, trust me. An election is what separates a president like myself from a monarch like my father. So, your father was a monarch and you're a president? How does that work? My father inherited his political power from birth and renamed this great nation the Kingdom of Tom. Although I also inherited my political power from my father when I took over, I formed a republic so the people may elect their leader. I think I get the idea. Let me ask you something else. What now? Hmm. I have to go. Very well. Let's do a save and then I'm going to try something. I didn't really want to kill Dave. Oh, I thought we were going to be able to get out of here. This was not what I wanted to do. I guess it was nothing. Aw, don't make me attack the kid. Come on. Let's reload that. I did not like that. What is my skill on that? Probably not very good. Sneak. Okay, well, let's try this again. even think about it. He really is, uh, paying attention, isn't he? Let's see if a stealth boy will work. How do you detect me?
Hey. At least I didn't have to kill him. I don't want to kill the guy. I want to have a chance to come back and figure out what this place is all about. Hey there. Are you going to play Republic with us? Ha <laughs> Smart kid. All right. Oh, wrong button. Quests. I don't want to bring Dave's key to Mr. Crowley. He, he doesn't sound like a very nice guy. But... I mean, I guess I'm going to have to go talk to him. Because I don't know what the key fits. All right, let's go talk to Crowley. I ain't gonna give him the keys, though. I want to know where the keys go, too. No, Crowley, I think it might be upstairs. What are you staring at? Not you. So don't worry about it, huh? How about that? It's been a while. What have you been up to? Hmm. Uh, Crowley's gonna be upstairs. I think he's staying in the hotel. Yes. Hi, patchwork. Ah oh, yes, Carol's place. What do you need? I need to talk to Crowley. Who's back? Quinn. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Oh, why, hello there. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Quinn. Ah, nice to meet you, Quinn. You too, stranger. I know a lot of people around here don't take kindly to humans wandering around. But I've met a lot of your people in my travels. Is the Lincoln Memorial around here somewhere? Yeah, just east of here. Bunch of guys with guns are holed up there. Huh, so what's that Mr. Crowley up to? I might know something interesting if you're willing to pay for it. Hmm. Oh look, I dropped these 50 caps in your pocket. Very funny. Crowley has some kind of scam going where he's going to get rich. He tried to get me to kill these three guys, but I wouldn't do it. I've met Dave and he's no more of a ghoul bigot than I am. Thank you. Yeah, see ya. So what you really up to, Crowley? Hmm. Watch your step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hon, do you need anything? Later. Hey. Crowley. Are they all dead yet? Did you bring me any proof? Hmm. Those people you sent me to kill aren't ghoul haters. You weren't supposed to talk to them. You were just supposed to kill them. <sighs> okay, okay. All I really want are those security keys. Killing them is just a bonus. Just get me the keys and I'll still pay you. I'll even throw in a hundred cap bonus. Deal? Mm, no. What? You bastard, I'll kill you. You're listening to Galaxy News Radio. I <laughs> What the heck? What? 
What the heck? Oh my god, this is terrible. All right. Let's not do it that way. Oh, wait. Had I not saved since I got it? Oh, for God's sakes. Be vigilant. Mm. All right. Good to see you. Hmm. Wonder. I mean, if I'm gonna lose the karma anyway, can I get his caps? Kind Don't even dick. think about it. Uh oh. If we can just leave. I mean, how far are they going to chase us? I don't want to kill them. Come on. Stop shooting. Oh, it's a Yao Guai. You can shoot that. No, not her. Yao Guai. Another one. Yagwai. Huh. All right. All right. Let's go. I mean, if we talk to him, will it automatically go to... I don't think it will. No. Museum of History. Well, I, I ticked off Dave, but, you know, I got 600 caps for it. And he is a jerk. I hope she didn't kill anybody, because I didn't kill anybody. Rather take the hits. Alright, let's try this all over again, shall we? Hey, Quinn. Deja vu. Oh, why, hello there. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Quinn. Nice to meet you. You too, stranger. I know a lot of people around here don't take kindly to humans wandering around, but I've met a lot of your people in my travels. So what's Crowley up to? I might know something interesting if you're willing to pay for it. Oh, look. Fifty caps. Very funny. Crowley has some kind of scam going where he's going to get rich. He tried to get me to kill these three guys, but I wouldn't do it. I've met Dave and he's no more of a ghoul bigot than I am. Lincoln Memorial around here somewhere? Yeah, just east of here. Bunch of guys with guns are holed up there. Good to know. Bye. Yeah, see ya. 
Let's save before we talk to dude this time. I don't feel like going through all that again. I hope you don't mind the smell. Oh, that's just an underworld resident. Where's Crowley? Well, look who's back. Oh, there he is. Are they all dead yet? Did you bring me any proof? Uh, oh. Ten pennies dead. I watched his brains splatter. Don't lie to me. The whole wasteland would be talking about it if Tenpenny died. Come back when you've done it right. Mm. Tell me where Fort Constantine is. Right. You're just a lying bigot like all humans. Bye. Bye. <coughs> Fort Constantine, huh? Fort Constantine. Where would Fort Constantine be? I mean, I'm assuming. Well, Money to hire speech. Boys and girls, prepare to be astounded, bedazzled, and otherwise stupefied. I'm three Are they all dead yet? Did you bring me any proof? Let me ask you something, children. Be a hundred worth of two hundred year old sounds very sick. Not yet, but I'm working on it. Well, what are you waiting for? Here you go. Good golly, Holly. Bye. Bye. Dang it. I'm just going to have to find this place. And we're going to leave it there for today. And, uh... <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me. And, bye! Living in the wastelands is hard. But don't worry. Luanacor is working with the Enclave to make life better with... Julio's. Fun little glowing green O's will bring laughter to your table. We guarantee two rads per second. Ghouls live hundreds of years, and you want the best for your family. So do we. Which is why your family will receive free medical care with the purchase of Julio's. Not everyone will turn into a ghoul. Eating Gulios may result in death. Consult your Enclave doctor before discontinuing Gulios. Ghouls may be feral. We're making tomorrow better together. Get your first box today. <laughs>